Welcome to the Innovation Portal demonstration video on building portfolio pages. Uh, we're going to be adding text, graphics, and video to some portfolio pages and also taking a look at the resources within the Innovation Portal related to the rubric and the scored, scored samples to help you build a, a really great portfolio. Um, once you log into your account, and we're assuming that you've created an account and uh, created a new portfolio, uh, you can go ahead and open um, your blank portfolio. The portfolio uh, defaults to the cover page, and then if you picture a three-ring binder in front of you with the uh, tabs kind of sticking out of it, A, B, C, D, on down the line, you can access uh, different uh, portions of the portfolio by going to those tabs. We're going to edit the uh, front page by clicking the edit icon, and when you do that, um, it's the same for each one of the tabs. You, you're taken to the edit mode. Over on the left, you get some text editing tools along with uh, uh, a tool for inserting a video that we'll be using in a little bit. Uh, and as you mouse over each one, it tells you what it does. We're going to grab the uh, second one down called the paragraph tag. So uh, drag and drop it onto the portfolio page and it gives you a text box. If you click inside the text box twice, um, it will uh, activate the edit mode and you can type text directly in there or you can cut and paste from another source. Uh, and then you can use the tool bar to change the color or the size or the font if you'd like. Changing the size of the text box uh, reorients the text and uh, keeps it you know, kind of stacked on top of each other so you can build little elements of your portfolio. It's a total freeform editor. What you see is what you get. The lines around the outside of the page represent uh, an 8.5 by 11 a piece of paper so when you if you were to print this from your printer it would uh, be in rel the text and everything would be exactly where it would be on an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper so we've cut and pasted some other text here changing the size of some of the text and then to align text is quite easy if you move the boxes together they kind of snap you know they don't force you to align but uh, they do have a little snap uh, to create kind of um, function in them so that's how you add some text using paragraph tags to add some graphics, we're going to go to the Media Center. We're going to click that button and open it up. And we're going to pull over a, a folder here with some files in it. You can just uh, drag the files into the Media Center. So basically, you have to upload them into your portfolio. And then once they're uploaded, then you can drag them and resize them onto your screen. You don't have to go one at a time. You can do a batch load. We can do select all and drag them all over, or um, you know, kind of enslave four like we just did here and drag them up, and then they will. Uh, upload into the Media Center. This includes documents, uh, pictures, PNG, JPEG files, Word documents, spreadsheets, those kinds of things. And we'll be inserting uh, these things onto the page to show you how that's done. So uh, once we, uh, once our images upload, or we're free to use them, we can uh, again move each of the elements that we added to a page around. We'll drag a picture from the Media Center onto the portfolio page and then close the Media Center. And then you can resize the picture uh, and then move it around to where it, it uh, seems to look good. And again, you can use the kind of snap function to align text or align the pictures to the text like we're doing here. You can drag the box sideways and move things down, get it to look just the way you want it. There is no save button. Uh, every few microseconds uh, that you let off the mouse, uh, the, the system saves for you, so you don't have to keep clicking save. We're going to put another picture here and uh, throw some other pictures on the screen as we go, a little schematic. Uh, if you uh, have uh, scans of your notebook files, um, anything that will help you um, tell the story of your uh, design. As you move your way down the page, if you need another page, you just click Add Page. And if uh, you didn't need that page, you can go to the bottom and remove that page. Uh, and it won't accidentally um, delete a page if there's content on it. It won't let you uh, delete a page that you've created. So we'll just add a few things here, move things around a little bit, another text box, another uh, pie chart here. And then uh, as you go to the top, um, again, we're going to move some things around. We're going to take a look at uh, deleting something. If you click a text box and you don't really want that text box, a little trash can appears to the right. So if you click twice, the little trash can appears, and you can delete that. Uh, same thing with the pictures, the little trash can next to it will take that away. Uh, and then you can go back into the media center and pull it back out if you need it. Uh, we're making room here so we can drag and drop a movie. I've gone to YouTube and found uh, 
I've uploaded a video or a team has uploaded a video of their project so we're going to just uh, copy and paste the URL right here so uh, control C and then I'll slide that out of the way and then we're going to drag the uh, insert video button on there and then paste that URL right there and this creates an iframe right inside the video port or right inside the portfolio page to move the uh, the video itself around, you have to actually grab it around the edges because clicking anywhere in the video area will actually start playing the video. So if you need to move it, you grab around the edges, around the frame. See there's a little uh, white space around there. And you can also resize the iframe um, to um, whatever looks good on your portfolio, portfolio page. A viewer of your work can just watch the video at the size it is on your page or they can use the uh, YouTube or Vimeo things to enlarge it and uh, turn up the volume and those kinds of things. So that's how you insert text and graphics and videos. Uh, let's take a look at some of the resources we mentioned uh, to help you uh, build a good uh, or a really good entry. The rubric uh, is connected to each one of the little tabs on the side uh, lettered A through N and here we're looking at presentation and justification of the problem. One of the pull-down menus that we just opened asks some reflective questions about what should go on there, derived right from the rubric. And uh, you can see what a one, two, three, and four looks like. Sliding over to the Learning Center, we can take a look at some scored examples. These examples have been scored by dozens of university professors teaching design as part of the uh, National Science Foundation grant associated with the development of this rubric. And here you can see um, an older, older version of the Innovation Portal logo, but you can see some examples uh, of what uh, a dozen professors looked at and said, okay, this is a two, uh, this example, and this is why it's a two. So we'll scroll down, scroll down and we'll take a look at uh, the actual entry down here and see what the students put there. So you can get an idea of what a two looks like, a three looks like if these examples exist online. So we're gonna jump back into the portfolio and we're going to take a look at um, some of the uh, um, elements along the, or some of the functionality along the top of the uh, bar there. So we'll pull some text out. We'll uh, create a couple of paragraphs here, add a problem statement like we would for A, resize it a bit, and things like that. So uh, the general idea is you looking at the rubric. This is the same rubric that judges any judges uh, scoring any of the competitions on the Innovation Portal will use word for word uh, so that you get the same rubric up front that they will be using uh, to evaluate the work in the end. And then you, um, you have these scored examples to try to uh, look at and extrapolate um, what, what your, um, your entry should look like. Here we went to the Media Center and we pulled out a document. Now documents don't load, they load as a uh, link. Uh, in the innovation portal. So you'd have to uh, create um, some text to say to your readers, go ahead and click this and you can download this, download and view this link. So in this case, it's a PDF file and we'll grab the text box and kind of line it up so it looks nice. Uh, and then um, we can uh, put uh, different kinds of files on here, uh, Word documents, those kinds of things. You have to be a little bit careful about the version of Word that you upload. and. If your judges have an older version of Word, then they won't be able to open it. But PDFs are a pretty good way uh, to uh, share information. And here is an example. If you click on it uh, in view mode, you can see the document you know, back up to the portfolio and continue to read down. So if you were a judge or a teacher or somebody looking at this work, you could access these files because they're uploaded just like graphics. All right. Um, we'll scroll into the Media Center here and we'll add, uh, let's see. We'll add a spreadsheet and we'll kind of align the text. Again, aligning text is easy. You just kind of snap it all into, into place there. And then the easiest way to get out of edit mode is to click on an, another tab and then come back. It will throw you out of edit mode into view mode for the other tab and then back into the view mode of the tab you were just on. So you just uh, click to another letter and then click back and you can be right, right there in view mode. So we're going to click the B and then uh, E throws us down here, and we can just click back into A, and, uh, and we, we can see what it looks like to uh, everybody who would be viewing it. All right, we're going to look at the uh, uh, one more example of how to get to the scored elements without having to uh, jump away from your portfolio. If we have a scored example, we don't have a full set of 0 through 5 for each of the letters yet, but we're working on those. 
But if the uh, scored example exists, you can simply access it right there at the bottom. If it doesn't exist, there is a little message saying we don't have a no uh, scored example exists for this uh, th this score point at the moment. So that's another way to access that information. All right, let's take a look at the uh, functionality along the top. There's some more basic stuff. Uh, what snapshots, reviews, and things like that. We, and we've already used the My Portfolio button where we uh, can invite somebody. If you push the little printer button, you'll get uh, kind of a, a, you can print your document and, and take a look at it. And here it just generates a, uh, uh, print pre print preview, excuse me, and you can, if you have a uh, function to print a PDF, you can save uh, a copy of your entire file. Obviously, the links and things won't work, but uh, onto your desktop and uh, kind of carry a report, get a physical copy of your portfolio that way. We're going to take a look at snapshots. Snapshots, are, like the name implies, will take a complete copy of your portfolio as it looks at the minute you create the snapshot. This is a good way because the portfolio is a very fluid document. As you and your partners build over time, uh, you can take snapshots of week one, uh, week three, week six. We can't version back to one of those, but you can go back and look at what it looked like and you can rebuild it that way if you like it, or you can kind of have an idea of what your progress is and you can keep these snapshots uh, and take them anytime you'd like. So it's a tool to help you uh, build a, a, a portfolio over time. To invite somebody to review your portfolio, a mentor, say, or your teacher, you can simply click Invite Reviewer. And this will uh, send them an email. You can send them an email message and, um, and say, would you please uh, review my portfolio? We talked about it over email, that kind of thing. And you can uh, invite somebody to review your portfolio that way. Here we're looking at the opportunities that are available, and um, more come all the time, so go back to the opportunities available to you. There's one way to get at it right there on that link, uh, and look at those uh, as often as you can. On the right, we'll go over to My Reviews, and these are the re reviews you would have done for somebody else. Um, so you can always, if you are uh, in the role of a mentor or a teacher, uh, when, you, when you've done a review, you get to keep a copy of it, and so does the student or the person that, whose work you reviewed. So there you have it. Those are the major functions, uh, the introductory functions anyway, of the Innovation Portal and building new pages. Uh, good luck, and uh, look out for more tutorial videos.